Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Welsa and today we're going to make some barbecue ribs, but we're going to cook them in the oven. So come on, come cook with me. Come on. And here, here's some roses for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, so here are the ribs and I did clean them already and I already took off the membrane and the, um, fat as much of the fat as I could and you guys you know I'm not perfect I was extraordinarily made but I'm not perfect so I took off as much as I could because it was kind of hard to take off all the fat so yeah so now we're gonna season the the pork ribs okay so let's season them okay so now we're gonna season the pork ribs so what I have here is my little mixture of dry rub that I made so what I did is I got my onion powder. I used one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of the Creole seasoning, which is this stuff. And I use one tablespoon of paprika, and I used a tablespoon of garlic salt also. And I also used a tablespoon of black pepper and the other thing that I used was um, two tablespoons of parsley flakes the dried pars parsley flakes in here so and I mixed it all together and here's what I got okay but first we're gonna rub the ribs down with some mustard and I'm using the um, Dijon mustard because my regular mustard ran out this is gonna be so that the dry rub can seal to it so what you do is you just rub it on there I did pretty good with this cuz look at that you don't see too much fat on this side the other side might be another thing <laughs> That's funny, I try, but <laughs> I can't take it all off. <laughs> and plus a little fat and make it taste better anyway. So honey, <laughs> let's let's have some good taste in here. Okay, so here we go. You just coat that really good with that. Okay. And then See. Make sure it's coated really good. Okay, now we're gonna get the the dry rub that I made. Okay, and we're gonna sprinkle that all over. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna use my. Well, let me see if the brush will work first. Okay. Just make sure that it's seasoned all over. You want your spices to be all over. Okay. Need a little more up there. Fill in the spots where you don't see the spices. We want this to be seasoned really well. I've been wanting some barbecue for like a couple of weeks now. And I just decided to just go get the ribs and make some today. So we're going to be eating barbecue today. And I made some coleslaw and some baked beans to go with it okay okay I think I missed the spot okay pat that on there really good all right now we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing okay all right so let's flip it over let's see this side has a little more that than the other side did but honey I tried to take it off that's it that's all I could take off okay so now 
let's get the mustard hold on let me wash my hands okay so now let's get the mustard the honey dijon mustard is one the one that i'm using right now you just sprinkle that over it this is gonna help keep the dry rub on oh honey i don't get none on my dress can't be messing up my dress because mustard is really hard to come out of your clothing okay so now just gonna rub it all over make sure it's coated all over been a little while since I had some barbecue I love going to Texas they have the best barbecue when I go visit Te Texas so okay we're almost done with this part just make sure it's covered all over you can as much as you can okay all right how's everyone doing I hope everyone everyone is okay hope you guys had a good day okay so now we're gonna get the dry rub and do the same thing we did on the other side I usually um, would cut my ribs before I cook them, but today I decided to just cook them and then I'll slice them afterwards. But whichever way you like to do yours is fine. If you want to slice them before, it's okay. Sometimes I be feeling the spirit to slice them before also. <laughs> but today, honey, I didn't want to just do it this way today. Okay, so that's all of that. And we just pat, 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 pat. Make sure that it's sticking to the ribs. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, so when we get all this on, then we're gonna put them in the oven, okay? Let's get that spice off of there. Could use that, huh? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna get the baking pan and we're gonna put them in the oven. Make sure your oven has been preheated. I'm gonna cook mine on 350 for like an hour and 45 minutes. And then after the one hour and 45 minutes, we're going to take them out and we're going to put the barbecue sauce on. Okay, so let's get the pan and put them in the pan, okay? Okay, you guys, so here's the pan that I'm going to use. But I want to also put one half cup of Worcestershire sauce in it. So I'm going to coat my pan with that. Just a half cup, see? Okay, now we're going to put the ribs in the pan okay so here we go all right that's one okay guys and this is the other one okay so just gonna push it down like that okay okay you guys so you see how it's looking and i only put just a little bit of Worcestershire. <laughs> i can't say that word again really but um the Worcestershire sauce in it i put one half cup of that in there and now we're gonna um 
cover it with some aluminum foil, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna get the ribs and we're gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna let them bake on 350 for an hour and 45 minutes, okay? Okay. In the oven it goes. Okay, so now while the ribs are in the oven, we're gonna chop up the garnish, okay? Okay, so now let's just get some garnish ready so when the ribs are ready, we will we'll have it ready. Do it smaller. Okay guys, so now it's been an hour and 45 minutes. So we're gonna take them out. Okay guys, so let's check and see what they're looking like. Voila! <laughs> okay. All right, so let's test them. Oh yeah, you see the meat, the bone, when the meat pushes back like that, they're ready. So you see that? Ooh, they're nice and tender too. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is pour all this juice off of it and then we're gonna coat it with the barbecue sauce and then we're gonna put it in the oven and then we'll see, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is how they're looking. I took them out of the oven and I drained the, um the juice off of them and now we're gonna put the barbecue sauce on it okay oh the meat is gonna fall off the bones okay so just put the barbecue sauce on it just cold it really good and then we're gonna put it back in the oven let the sauce Stick to it, but it doesn't have to stay in long. So I'm gonna turn it, the oven up to 375 just so this can stick to the, the meat. Okay. All right, so that's how it's looking right now. Okay, you guys, so I'm done putting the, the sauce, the barbecue sauce on it. So we're gonna put it, okay, that's my oven. <laughs> my oven's ready, it's 375, so we're gonna put it in the oven for 375. Um, you know, I had to turn the oven up a little higher, that's why it's beeping. So, okay, let's put it in the oven until the um, barbecue sauce sticks to it, okay? Okay, it's been 15 minutes, so let's check on them. <laughs> okay guys so i put it in the oven and and let the um sauce cook on it now i'm gonna flip it over they got really tender so gotta be careful look at the, <laughs> the bone falling off it got cooked really good okay i'm gonna flip this side over there we go now i'm gonna put the barbecue sauce on this side. Ooh, I like them cooked like this. Cause I could just eat. Okay guys, so I flipped them over. So we're just gonna put the barbecue sauce on this side. This meat is just gonna fall off the bone. Very good, tender ribs. I don't want to struggle with my food. I just want to bite into it <laughs> and enjoy the meat. <laughs> so that's what we got here. Some nice ribs that you can just bite into and you don't have to struggle with your food. You're just going to bite into it. And it's going to melt in your mouth. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put it in the oven for like five minutes and then we're done you guys okay <laughs> okay you guys it's time to take them out yay <laughs> okay you guys they're done 
I let the um, barbecue sauce set for a little bit and now they're ready. So now we're gonna put some garnish on it. Hold on. So I have my green onions I just like to sprinkle. green onion over it and then I'm going to use some tomatoes also for my garnish okay so sprinkle 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 <laughs> okay now we're going to get the tomatoes okay there we go delicious huh Looks so delicious. My daughter's been peeping and she's ready to eat. <laughs> okay. All right. So there we have it. There you have it. My oven baked barbecue ribs. There you have it, you guys. <laughs> so now let's cut into it and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to cut into this. Let's cut into it and see how tender it is. Look at that. See that? Oh, make sure I don't get a bone. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. You can just slice it with the knife and it's ready. Okay, so now let me get a plate and we'll make a plate, okay? Okay, there you have it. There you have it. You have your barbecue ribs that were cooked in the oven. We have baked beans and we have the coleslaw. There you have it. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed making the ribs with me and I'll see you next week. But please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>